All right, so here's part two of why, as a sports performance trainer, you want to take in every single sport out there. Uh, remember, so as long as the parents are willing to uh, let you run the business the way your way and the kid works hard, right? Uh, that's always a, a golden rule uh, for us. So I said last time that you want to take on all sports and you want to let things, um, you, want, you want to let the market fix itself based on all the results uh, and the handshaking that you do, the parent reviews, the coaches, and everything on the outside for you, okay? Um, so the next question I get is, well, how do I manage all that, okay? Because they all have, you know, there's a lot of different seasons. There's fall, there's winter, there's um, spring, there's this kid plays club in the fall, this put kid plays club in the spring, this kid does travel, baseball and softball in the summer, AAU track. How do I do it? Honestly, that's exactly how you do it. You... Create a marketing schedule based on when first the school seasons are. You write that out. Here are my fall sports. I know cross country for school sports, once again, okay, public, private, um, homeschool leagues. I know that the fall sports uh, for school is going to be volleyball, cross country, and football. Um, you know, there's some tennis fall, so tennis can be any fall or spring, honestly, uh, I think. And then say winter, okay, winter wrestling um you know my area uh we don't have hockey but it's wrestling soccer and basketball and then spring we get into track and field which you take cross country runners they are now with a track team all the sprinters and jumpers uh baseball and um you know you're gonna have a lot of lacrosse going on um there's some schools that are finally coming around lacrosse which is really awesome in my opinion and then you uh so you make a schedule during what months, give or take, you can be off a little bit, is the main part of their season. Then maybe you add uh, an asterisk for how long uh, until playoffs end. Then you make another schedule. When does club traditionally take place? I know that volleyball players are starting to go to club towards Thanksgiving time, late November. Okay, uh, Not all of them are done with uh, volleyball playoffs. Uh, district is ending. Volleyball players are going, but club... They start having these team practices and stuff on the weekends again uh, around Thanksgiving time. And then uh, as soon as New Year's hits, it's off to the races in full club season, okay? Um, so you kind of make that kind of schedule. Even though you are taking all kinds of athletes, you're going to have some overlap in sports at one time. But you use this schedule to your advantage to know how to best market to uh, your email list of parents and coaches. OK, your email list of if you're a sports performance trainer, here's another thing. Uh, get to know everybody who is a baseball, softball skills trainer in your area. Uh, somebody who trains uh, track skills like hurdles and jumpers, uh, the quarterback and wide receiver trainer, the offensive line trainer. Uh, I do. I used to do all of that. Uh, part of how I grew uh, with my athlete's success and the parent recognition, and everything around the coaches I started to get to know those who did the specialized skills. I became their go-to strength conditioning coach for their players. As soon as those parents ask, how can they get faster? How can they get stronger? How can they improve athleticism? Okay. So now you use the school schedule and the club schedule, give or take. It's not perfect to know how to improve your marketing um, and your um, social media campaigns. And you do want to get better at this. You do want to create that email newsletter. You do want to have coaches. You have separate email lists for everybody on there. And you want to build it up, okay? Um, this is only going to help remind those in specialized sports that are only playing that one sport that you do invite them. You're not just a football and volleyball um, strength conditioning coach. You do have kids that come from soccer time to time from baseball from softball from track and field i have mostly football players and volleyball players a handful um you know a couple handfuls of soccer and baseball i get calls from club cheerleading parents and coaches to train their kids okay club cheerleading because guess what these parents know if they go off to college they have a strength conditioning coach the bigger school they get okay they get a school like text tech even a smaller D1 like Tech State, you have your own strength conditioning coach, just like you have your own strength conditioning football coach, volleyball coach, baseball coach usually, okay? Or you share the same ones with them. 
Um, anybody you can perform better, always market to those seasons. Always ask your current clients, based on what other sports they play, when those seasons take place, whether because they play in them too or because their friends do. All right. So make note of that schedule. Um, I have one actually uh, that I've used in the past, and I will be happy to uh, email that to you. All you have to do is um, text the number in the description. And you can ask for that email, and then we can get on a 15 to 20-minute phone call so I can help explain on how to read it, okay?